Hello everybody, this is Legomaxintan, and if you recognize where I am, you will know what kind of video this is going to be. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom armor textures based on the name of that armor set. So as you can see over here, we have a bunch of different armor sets. Just a quick disclaimer, I am using the First Sky Reborn resource pack. That is where these textures are from. I did not make them. Full disclaimer, they're not mine. Anyway. I'm going to be making my own texture today just to show you how to do this. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different types of armor sets. We have uh, Miner's Outfit Armor, Speedster Armor, Superior Armor, Ender Armor, and Necron's Armor. Obviously there's more, and there's also leggings and boots to go with each of these sets. Uh, sometimes in Hypixel Skyblock they use custom uh, blocks and or custom heads for their helmets, so that's why sometimes these aren't uh, possible to override or they're much more difficult to override with a custom resource pack based on the name but today what I'm gonna be showing you is just default Minecraft armors how to override those so as you can see I now have a speedster chest plate in my hand and if I go to the anvil so just so you can see that it's called speedster chest plate if I go to the anvil I can just rename it because almost all of these are using leather armor as their base this is leather this is leather this is leather this is chain and this is leather um, so I could just override this and put this in here, rename it to Storm Armor, nope, Storm's Chest Plate, and there you, there you go, we have a new Storm's Chest Plate in my hands. Uh, so yeah, this, this texture pack is based on the name of the item that is in your hand. So if you've made it this far into the video, I'm assuming you have already watched my video on how to make custom... Uh, item textures such as weapons and tools. Uh, these are all textures from First Sky Reborn, as I've already said. Um, but I'm assuming you have the basics down of how to use .properties files and uh, perhaps even animations with the .mc meta files to uh, dictate animation in custom textures. So for this video, I'm going to be demonstrating by using my crystal armor set, which in this resource pack that I'm using, version 1.0 does not currently have a texture, so I'm going to be using a custom texture that I make. Um, so I guess I should go get on that right now, and I'll be back to you once I have a texture. So in order to do this, I'm going to be actually just going off of this default gold armor texture, um, because it provides a good uh, outline as to where my armor pieces should actually be located. So uh, at first it's a little bit hard to understand, but it's honestly not that too bad. So this right here, this section that I'm highlighting is the helmet. Uh, this, this, this pixels too. This entire section is the helmet. So it's, it's pretty easy to see how it just folds together to make a, uh, a gold helmet. Um, and this down here is the boots, as well as this. This is the bottom of the boots, and these are the sides. It will duplicate both boots to be identical. So if you don't want identical boots, I'm pretty sure it, it won't work. Uh, at least with the way I'm showing. This whole section right here is the chest plate, uh, and th there's obviously, you can see two sleeves right here, sleeve, sleeve, and then this section is the front, this is the back, and then these are the different pieces that go on the arms of the uh, chest plate, with this right here being the inside closest to the middle of the chest plate, and this section being the outside, this is the top, this is the back, and this is the front. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to say that you actually have to have a separate file for your leggings because uh, they are actually on separate planes on your character. So I'm currently wearing diamond armor just to show, and I don't know if I can get my camera, but you can see the chest plate is slightly offset from the leggings, and uh, the boots are offset from the leggings as well. So they're the three pieces, the helmet, chest plate, and boots, are all on one separate file while the leggings are on a different one because they are on different uh, physical layers. Okay, so here we have the texture for the golden leggings, uh, which is on layer 2, as you can see up here, gold layer 2.png. And uh, essentially, it's pretty easy to understand these as well. So this section, let me make sure, okay. So this entire section is the physical pants part of the leggings. It's the part that goes around your legs. And then this part is that part that's up by your character's stomach, which uh, borders the chest plate uh, and makes it so it doesn't look like there's a massive gap there. So essentially this is the front uh, section and this is the back section and these are the two sides of upper part of the leggings 
And honestly, this part, I'm not too sure what it is there for, um, but I would recommend not leaving it out, although I'll try to figure it out and, and uh, get back to you. So I have a texture that I'm pretty happy with, to be honest. Uh, what I've done is I've just taken the gold texture, uh, the gold armor, changed around the colors, and taken out the middle parts to make it look a little bit more crystal and uh, see-through. Um, and as you can see, here's my leggings as well. I haven't tried this out yet, so we'll, we'll hope it works. Uh, for armor, um, but here's my textures. So the next step in this uh, making of textures is you're going to want to save this file. File, save as. So I'm just going to have this saved to my desktop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the underscore layer underscore one and just rename this to crystal. So crystal. And save it as a PNG file type. And for my leggings, do the exact same thing, and then change this to crystal. And as a PNG file, crystal layer two, save, and click save. So the next thing I need to do is create a dot properties file, which again, I'm assuming you have watched my previous tutorial. Uh, if you have not, please go do that. I, you, you pretty much need to in order to understand what I'm gonna be doing in just a second. So right now I have the file for the gold ore armor from First Sky Reborn version 1.0 uh, open and it's pretty easy to understand to be honest so this is just specifying that we are making an armor uh, file and it is also specifying the type of armor that is uh, gold or armor although it doesn't have a leather helmet so I'm not too sure uh, what this part is about but the chest plate leather leggings and leather boots are all correct and then it has the layer one and it's just specifying uh, which pieces are associated with which um, files. So what I can do here is just switch out where it says gold ore. Uh, that's a little bit confusing, but yeah, I'm just, this is just my base. Uh, I will obviously have a link uh, or just have this thing pasted in the description of this video. So I'm just gonna change every time it says gold ore uh, to crystal. So I've completed that, now it will be um, reverting to my crystal texture and this is where you tell it what you want in the name to trigger the texture override so here it is it's gold or apostrophe s and then a space um, between the asterisks so what I want to put in is crystal because that's what my crystal armor is called so now I have crystal and I didn't put the individual pieces because this will actually override for all uh, pieces of the of the armor just because all of the pieces have crystal as the first word of their uh, of their name but if you do have a separate name for each individual piece of the set you will have to create an individual file like this for for each piece and now I'm just gonna save this as a dot properties file which I've already showed in my previous tutorial I'm gonna do file save as so I have this selected to all files and I'm gonna change the file name to crystal dot properties so this will save it as a dot properties file so as you can see here is my crystal file, and I'll drag it down to be with my other crystal armors. So here's my three files that I will need uh, in order to do this. So now to implement your actual texture. So first thing you need to do is navigate to your resource packs folder, uh, as you can see right here, which can be done by either searching in the search bar, uh, percent app data percent, no spaces. This can be done much easier by going into your game and clicking escape then options, then resource packs, then open resource packs folder, and it will take you right here. So the pack I'm gonna be implementing this into is my modified version of First Sky Reborn. Uh, the, the squiggles are just for the colorization on the menu. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is have a zipped folder. If you don't have a folder yet, create a folder and you will zip it later. So create a folder on your desktop, input all of your files into it, and then zip it up and put it in your .minecraft and your resource packs folder. So uh, as I navigate through these folders, you're going to need to create individual ones um, that reflect the same name. So I will open this up. Uh, you will need a pack.png file and a pack.mc meta file. Don't forget that. Uh, this is just for uh, Mac users. It's a special file. Um, so create a folder called assets, then one called Minecraft, then one called MC Patcher, and then you are going to create one called uh, CIT. And then here you're going to place your armor. So create a folder called armor. And here's where all the folders 
uh, for the different armor sets are stored. Although this is not necessary, this is just to keep more organized. So what I'm actually going to do is create a folder on my desktop and call it crystal to match the name of uh, my armor sets in here, the same formatting, and just drag in the uh, files associated with that armor set. So your properties file and your two layers of uh, textures. So now I'm just going to drag this in to my armor folder uh, in my resource pack. With the uh, so it needs to compress now. Okay, it has successfully compressed. As you can see, we have a crystal uh, file folder right here, uh, which can be opened and has all of the required uh, files. So now that I have this implemented, I'm going to go into my game and try it out. So I'm back in my world and now I'm going to try to test and see if this texture works. So I'm going to grab some leather armor out of my inventory. Crystal chest plate. So this is not concerning that it's actually not changing in the anvil menu because I have not added a, an icon texture for this. Uh, so now I need to try it on to see if the texture works. And it does. Look at that. So I have this special uh, texture for my crystal armor. So now I'm just going to convert my other pieces to be crystal as well. And there you go, I'm in full crystal armor. This uh, armor set actually doesn't look that good, but that's not the point of this video. The point is to show you how to actually make the custom textures. So when I click E, you'll see it just looks like armor, uh, like just normal leather armor. Obviously that is no bueno, and uh, you will probably want to create uh, custom icons for those, uh, and those can just be saved in basically anywhere in your MC Patcher folder uh, as long as it's in the CIT folder inside of that MC Patcher folder uh, and it will work just like uh, these textures over here um, just follow my other tutorial on how to do these types of textures just use whatever your base item is for example like a leather chest plate like I have uh, just use that as your base and go from there I think that's pretty self-explanatory um, if you've watched the video at least so, thank you guys for watching this video. Also, join my Discord so you can be notified whenever I post a new video or go live. Uh, it's a great place to hang out, and I'd love to have you there. Uh, if you found it helpful, please hit that subscribe button and also like the video because I do texture pack tutorials sometimes. Not, not very often, to be honest, but I've done a couple. Uh, and yeah, if, you've, if you found it helpful, just, just subscribe. Uh, it doesn't hurt, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.